In the WordPress Menus Customizer, you can add menu items. Click on a menu item to change its title or remove it from the menu. UTheme Pro adds an additional theme button at the bottom with options to add an image or subtitle and to define the drop-down appearance. Now let's go through the menu options one by one. Here you can select your menu item image. Instead of using a custom image, you can also select an icon from the icon library. Optionally, hide the title and only show the image or icon. If you do have a title, you can enter a subtitle that will be displayed beneath the nav item. For the drop-down options, let's go to a different menu item. If you have a long list of sub-items, you can split them into multiple columns. For example, let's choose two columns. Alternatively, you can also create a mega menu with a page builder to have more control over the appearance of the drop-down. Next, you can stretch the drop down to the width of the nav bar or to the nav bar container. Instead of stretching the drop down, you can also set the drop down width in pixels. Optionally, add a large padding for the drop down. There is an option to set a different alignment instead of the default drop-down alignment. For example, in my case, the default alignment of all drop-down items is left, but let's set the drop-down alignment for this menu item to center. Also, you can use a different nav style. The secondary nav style should be used for menus with subtitles. Finally, there is another drop-down option which is only available for mega menus built with the Uthim Pro Page Builder. For this, let's add a menu item which uses the Page Builder. Here, you can remove horizontal or vertical padding for the drop-down.